What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, what I'm going to be doing is going over five of the most common mistakes that players make when trying to improve at Fortnite in chapter three. These mistakes are ones that I find so many players making and these mistakes can hold someone back so much from improving at the game. Before we get into it though, if this video does help you out, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. And before we hop into today's video, I want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is Ace Defender. Ace Defender is an amazing strategy roleplay game and easily one of the most immersive mobile games that I've ever seen. With over 40 chapters and over 2,000 levels, as well as 48 different heroes with new ones being added constantly, Ace Defender is easily one of the most revolutionary games in this space right now. Ace Defender has two different modes. First is PvE single player, where you can explore dungeons and regions, engage in trials, level up your heroes, and collect a bunch of different rare items. And you also have PvP, where you can face off against opponents all across the world. Your ultimate goal is to level up, combine heroes, and equip unique gear to build the ultimate lineup. A new hero named named Brenda was just recently added to the game and is easily one of the most powerful heroes yet with an insane demon spear attack that blocks your opponent's damage, deals a ton of damage, and recovers your health all at the same time. As well as that, the Realm of Deities is also coming to the game where you can build a castle, develop technology, and train soldiers to conquer the city and collect treasures. Overall guys, Ace Defender is an incredible game with such an incredible storyline and so much to do and whether you're looking for a pastime while you're hanging out or a new game to grind and become a beast at, I absolutely recommend that you give Ace Defender a shot. Also guys, if you do go ahead and download Ace Defender from my link at the top of the description, you're going to receive 10 Royal Recruit tickets after beating Chapter 2 Level 8, so you'll get a solid advantage right out of the gate. So with that said, be sure to head to the link down in the description and give Ace Defender a shot. Thank you once again, Ace Defender, for sponsoring today's video. So the first mistake that I see so many players making in Chapter 3 is playing too close. What I mean by playing too close is this. When you're in a fight, especially if you're a more mechanical player who doesn't really rely on spray, you simply can't get too close up to your opponent. Even though the SMGs and ARs have had some mild nerfs so far, they're still super strong, and I can't tell you how often I'll see a player absolutely dominating and outplaying their opponent in a fight, just to end up getting too close to their opponent and end up getting an SMG shoved up their ass. In all seriousness though, it's super easy to simply jump on someone this season, so unless you're the one that's jumping on your opponent, you're really going to want to make it a priority to keep a fair amount of distance in your fights, preferably at least a box or two away from your opponent, and really you just want to focus on going for solid peace control plays and taking smart shots. Now of course, if you're the one trying to dive in on your opponent, then it's perfectly fine to get up close, but the main thing we're trying to avoid here is those situations where you're winning the fight, but your opponent simply jumps out because you got too close and punishes you for it. If you can avoid these situations in Chapter 3, and you can really focus on keeping healthy distance in your fights, you're going to notice a massive improvement in your overall success in fights. The second mistake I've seen so many players make lately is failing to improve their aim. Let's be honest here, nowadays in Fortnite, especially in competitive, everyone knows how to build and edit, and most people know a few peace control drills, and ultimately, one of the biggest skill gaps this chapter is aim. If you're able to consistently hit clean shotgun shots and outspray your opponent when you're in the same box, you're going to be at such a massive advantage, especially with such a spray-heavy meta with the MK7 and the Stinger SMG, as well as shotguns being pretty darn bad unless you're able to hit clean shots, there's never been a time in Fortnite where it was more important to practice your aim. When it comes to which methods to actually use to improve your aim for this season, you have so many different options. You've got in-game maps like Scavrix and Raiders Aim Duels, and for those of you on PC, you also have third-party apps like Kovacs and Aim Beast. However you decide to do it, improving your aim is absolutely critical this season, so ultimately, try and make sure that you're not making the mistake of not training your aim on a consistent basis. The next mistake I see so many players making in Fortnite Chapter 3 is such a common one at this point in time, especially competitive and it's a poor landing spot and poor looting path. In chapter 3, early game is one of the most massive skill gaps in the entire game and being able to clear out your POI and leave with stacked loot is absolutely critical if you're trying to place well, make earnings, or even just gain arena points. The biggest mistake I see players making when it comes to serious games is they'll totally mix up their landing spots and in turn they won't have any of them mastered and they won't be able to outplay the other people landing with them. Now don't get me wrong, if you're just hopping in and W keying for the fun of it or playing a public match or anything along those lines, it really doesn't matter where where you choose to land. But if you're a competitive player, having a specific drop spot is super important and you should try to optimize your early game as much as possible. Obviously, you want to stay as consistent as possible, that way you're not getting stuck landing at random places you know nothing about. So if you're a competitive player, find a high quality drop spot, learn how to loot it effectively and stick to it. This will make a massive difference in your performance. Moving on from that, one of the most common mistakes I see almost every single player making is allowing themselves to get tilted. If you don't know what I mean by tilted, it essentially means allowing yourself to get that kind of built up anger over multiple 
multiple games that ultimately makes you play worse and can lead to your mentality and motivation getting worse and worse. And although it does suck, getting tilted is something that happens to pretty much every normal player in Fortnite, and learning how to improve and get over it can make a massive difference in your gameplay and competitive performance. If you do find yourself getting tilted in Fortnite, the solution that I propose in pretty much every single mentality related video I've made is simply to take breaks. You'd be shocked by how much better you play after a solid 10 to 15 minute break from the game. You'll come back refreshed, but also it's not too long where you're gonna have to warm up all over again. So when you find yourself beginning to get pissed off after some rough games, take a little time to chill out, recollect yourself, and come back stronger. Another option is to not necessarily take time off from the game itself, but to do something chill like some aim training or maybe some 1v1s with a friend. Basically something that allows you to practice and improve with the game, but also not something that involves a lot of pressure that could cause you to get even more frustrated. Learning how to avoid getting tilted is super important in Fortnite though, especially if you're trying to play long hours and you're trying to reach a super high level. So keep these tips in mind whenever you find yourself starting to get tilted. Finally guys, getting into the last mistake in today's video, and it's going to be super simple but a very important one, and that's inconsistency. Almost every single time I see someone in Fortnite who's trying to improve but can't seem to make it happen, it's almost always due to the fact that they're simply not consistent. If you look at any pro player, they don't skip their aim training, they don't stop practicing because they get SMG sprayed a few times, they don't do any of that crap. They have a routine or have a plan, they stick to it, and they improve because they practice on a consistent basis. The thing that I notice with most beginner to intermediate level players is they're going to have some days where they practice and feel super motivated, and then the next day they're going to stop playing after 30 minutes, the next day they won't practice at all, and they're basically in a constant loop where their motivation is up and down and they can't stick to any consistent plan. There are a few different things you can do to fix this though. My first recommendation would be to have some friends with the same goals as you, that way you can practice together and hold one another accountable. Another idea I really like is to set goals every day, week, or even month. For one day, it could be something like gaining 500 arena points or making it to endgame five times. For a week, it could be something like aim training 30 minutes every day or maybe something performance-based like hitting the next division in arena. And for a monthly goal, you're probably looking more at something like placing top 1000 in a cash cup or hitting division 10 in arena or anything along those lines. Now, obviously your goals are going to depend on your current skill level. If you're in division 5, then saying you're going to hit division 10 this week is kind of stupid. But the idea here is to simply have something to work towards and something to keep you motivated. That way you don't get that feeling that you're just working toward nothing. So set some goals, have some friends that can hold you accountable and vice versa, and simply focus on being consistent. All of this should help you a ton when it comes to staying consistent with your practice and the results in your skill level will be obvious. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video on the top five mistakes that are holding you back in Fortnite Chapter 3. If this video did help you out, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. And if you want to show some extra support, then consider using code TECHO in the item shop as it's 100% free and it really does help your boy out an absolute ton. And lastly, guys, if you're interested in checking out the sponsor, Ace Defender, then the link is going to be near the top of the description. With all that said, though, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.